But put that hat on. Put the put the, the mm-hmm. bolt man hat back on. So I'm about to read to you a report that should excite all Charger fans. Jim Harbaugh could be coaching his final game with Michigan on Monday. And according to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, Harbaugh and the Los Angeles Chargers has, quote, gained steam in league circles. Jim Harbaugh has a $10 million, $125 million offer on the table from Michigan. The only clause in that contract that we're all aware of is that he cannot pursue a job until after the 2024 season. That contract would make him the highest paid coach in college football history as far as total money, not ex- not per year. Nick Saban still has that crown. But total as money would it. eclipse... Dabo Sweeney, who got $115 million total from Clemson. It sucks now. Jim Harbaugh, I'm putting all the story together for you. I'm putting all the puzzle pieces together for you. Jim Harbaugh, a few days ago, hired Tom Brady's agent, Don Yee. Now, why would you need mm-hmm. an NFL agent unless you're looking? All reports say that he has always left the door open for an NFL return. The contract still That's being on the table doesn't put an end to to his time in Michigan because he has not signed it or he has not rejected it. But this could be even the bigger thing. Las Vegas has now put Jim Harbaugh as the favorite to be the next coach of the Los Angeles Chargers, eclipsing not only Bill Belichick, not only Kellen Moore, but Ben Johnson is now the second favorite, the Lions offensive coordinator. Jim Harbaugh, plus 150, according to odds makers in Las Vegas, to be the next Chargers head coach. Charger fan, didn't that make you excited? I got to say, man, if <laughs> I, I like that idea. I like that idea because Jim Harbaugh wins everywhere he goes. And if you put him in as, as the Chargers head coach, you're – I mean, no, no pun intended. You're going to supercharge this team because when he got to San Francisco, they did. He had to build it. Mm-hmm. Coming into Los Angeles, it's pretty much already built. You have a superstar quarterback, you have a star left tackle, you have a number one wide receiver, and you have a number one running back. So you have four of the five things that you need as a offensive head coach. To build around. Mm-hmm. So if Jim Harbaugh has that day one, I think that's a very, very enticing offer. Uh, they've got some cap situations that they've got to work through. You've got to cut yes. some guys. So th- that's going to be, you know, the math ain't got a math, but it's an NFL contract. And as we know, the cap is rubber, not stone. But if you're asking me who I would want as a fan of the team, I would Mm -hmm. 1,000% tell you I would want Jim Harbaugh over any of these other people because I've seen Jim Harbaugh prove it. And what do I always say? Do it at two places. Not only has he done it at both places, he's done it at different levels. He's now done it at Stanford. He's done it at Stanford. He did it at at USD, did it at Stanford, and now he's done it at Michigan. Did it as a player. Did it as a player. And now I've seen him go to San Francisco when San Francisco was not a well-run place as it is now and take that team to NFC championships and Super Bowls with a guy named Colin Kaepernick, who you never heard of. And Alex Smith was a bust until he ran into Jim Harbaugh. So if you're telling me you're going to start him off with this organization, with Justin Herbert, who's a better quarterback than he's ever had before, how can you not be excited? How can you not be excited? did have Andrew Luck. Justin Herbert's better than Andrew Luck. Wow. And I know that's that a, is a, that, that'll, that is, that'll have people whoa, whoa, whoa. hammering that's the table. Two sh- that that took two shows. Two shows for one hot take. Damn, that is a Andrew Luck. Justin Herbert is better than Andrew Luck. Yes. That yes. Absolutely. Absolutely he is. And with that said, when you put him with Justin Herbert and Keenan Allen. And Mike Williams. If Keenan maybe Allen's he there. might if be Mike rest- Williams is healthy. I think Keenan Allen is going to be there. I don't think Mike Williams will be healthy. I think he can help this kid who was a bust last year kind of find his way as well. 
I think what you're going to have to look at with this team going forward is financially what's going to happen to the defense. Because I think two of those big contracts on that defense, adios, buddy. Mm -hmm. Adios. I think the Derwin James contract, adios, buddy. And I think the Camille Mack contract, adios, buddy. I think those two are gone. Now, Bosa's a harder one to move, and he's so injury-prone at this point. I would probably move him, if I'm being honest with you, before I move Mac. But Mac's older, so that's that's no here there. But the problem with this is the number one thing that people keep, you know, tiptoeing around. The owner mm -hmm. not gonna pay, right? <laughs> like so. Are we not gonna bring up the? Get, are we also not gonna bring up the the the, the cheating scandal right now? That a lot of people. And who cares? Who cares? Well, who cares? You know, because who Connor cares? Stallings, you can bring him to the NFL. He's not banned from the NFL. I, I think. <laughs> who cares, man? Spygate. Like, there's, there's, there's cheating all over. There's cheating all over sports. Okay, whether you're deflating balls or filming practices or or filming games from the side, whatever, man. There's cheating all over the sport. If you get caught, punish the person. It doesn't make it doesn't negate the championship. They're not gonna. They didn't beat Alabama because some kid was recording Big Ten games on his cell phone. You know, some everybody's posting on Instagram. Somehow it's bad when this guy does it. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care about that. That doesn't. That doesn't get. You know, it doesn't take a lot to get me going. That ain't gonna do it. That ain't gonna do it. Gotcha. So for me, it's the at owner. The end of the day, it's the owner number one. Correct. Correct. For me, that's the one and only concern I have about this at all. The owner not going to pay. So if you're Jim and Harbaugh too many and you have a 10-year, $125 million contract on the table, do you now, like what do you do? What do you tell the Chargers? What is your asking price in the NFL? What's a realistic contract for an NFL head coach where there are guys making more than $12.5 million? Jim Harbaugh would probably be top five, top three. If, he, if he goes to the NFL, he's going to be like, you can put Bill in front of me. You can maybe put and Pete Carroll in front of me because of seniority. But other than that, maybe Sean Payton. That's but I, if I'm Jim Harbaugh, I'm like, what's Sean Payton getting paid? That's where I start minimum. Listen, I Jim Harbaugh would sit down at a table with 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 any owner and go, I've handed most of these guys their hat in, in coaching. I've handed Pete Carroll his hat at multiple levels, college and NFL. I make I need more than him. Sean Payne is a desire and a, la and, a, and a liar. I need more money than him. Bill mm -hmm. Belichick is the only person I will take less money than. And to me, that the Chargers are going to balk at that because they have too many people in the organization squabbling over how much less I'm going to get because I'm giving it to yeah. that guy. So According I think to... this is a... Go ahead. Sorry. I, I think I think this is the Raiders. And I think the Raiders and the, and the Commanders are the front runners out of the gate. If he chooses to leave Michigan, because the the I want to keep calling them the Redskins, the Commanders have the ownership that's willing to pay. Mm -hmm. They have their team, which is pretty much bare bones at this point. He can get his own quarterback. They're high enough mm -hmm. in the draft where they can trade picks to get the number one pick, which is available to, depending on who you ask. And I, I think the Raiders are a more of his style. Mm -hmm. I think Davis will completely get out of the way. He will find a way to make sure that he gets whatever he needs to be successful. And I don't think you're going to get those at the other stops. You're not going to get that in Carolina. You damn sure ain't going to get that with the Chargers. I think what he's looking for is full autonomy. He would get that in, in Las Vegas. And I think he would get that with the commanders. I think everywhere else, there is a problem with the ownership. 